Hey, welcome all of you to this class. So let's get into it. I'm about to explain what is a perceptron. About single layer perceptron. So how it works? If you give sample here, if you give your data here, the data will be received here and data will be processed. How? Here there will be weights. If I write the weights W1, W2, W3, W4 and W5 and there is a bias also. I can write here that is suppose W then what will happen? The value will be calculated here. So what is the value here? Here the left side. Okay. That is how I represent. So the value here will be equal to that will be equal to value. This value will be equal to here this value. That value will be equal to a linear combination. Okay. A linear combination of the inputs and here the weights. The inputs if I write here suppose x1 x2, x3, up to xn, then if you multiply with w1, w2, wn, then this will be x1, w1, plus x2, w2, and finally, the last term will be xn, wn. So, this value we got here, then from here will come here. Let me change the ink. So, from here will come here. From here, when you come here, the activation function is applied. Now, the activation function is a heavy side function, step function. You can understand this one. I will explain you below. This is a step function. Okay. Or you can say heavy side function. What this will do is this will transform all the values to zeros and ones. That means Whatever number you get here, this could be any number, right? Because there is no restriction on W1, W2, W3, W4, W5 here, up to Wn. I've taken up to N here. And the inputs are also X1, X2, X3 up to Xn. So when you find a linear combination, okay, and we have taken a bias also. Let me add that bias here. So plus W N Xn. The bias I'm adding here, that is W. I'm adding a bias here, W. Now, I got this value. This value, that is this value. Okay, the left-hand side. If you see, from here, when we come here, it will transfer the value. There is a mathematical function that's called step function. That will transfer all values to zeros and ones. How? This is this way. The function will work this way. If you put any positive value, any positive value, any positive value, it could be including zero. It could be zero. It could be 10,000, 50,000. Later, we see all the positive numbers will be mapped to zero, one. And all the negative numbers will be mapped to zero. I'll explain you mathematically how this is possible. That is zero. That is the working of a perceptron. Okay. So what are the outputs of a perceptron? Zero or one. Zero you will get as answer or one you will get. These are the two classes. Okay. And mathematically I will explain you. Geometrically I will explain you. I am 100% sure. Equation of a straight line. If I write equation of a straight line is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. This is the equation of a straight line. This equation I have written here, this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis and this is origin. So this is the straight line. Now if you see, there are two parts here. If you see the straight line, there is left part, there is right part. So this straight line will divide the whole plane into two parts, left side and right side. Now if you see this side here, Suppose 0, 0 is a point. If I write any equation, suppose let me write 2x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0. If I write like this, then what will happen? Let, let me make it 6. Now, this is the equation. Then what will happen? 
this whole side, this side, I'm talking about this side, left side. And right side. These are the two planes. So this line will divide the whole plane into two half planes. Okay. So let me erase all. Now these are the two planes. Now how can you know this side is negative or this side is negative? All the points I'm saying. This point, 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 origin, this point. So the best way to check is only check for this point. 0, 0 satisfies which in equation. Let me put x0, y0, then I'll get minus 6. Okay. So 0, 0, if I put, I will get 2 multiplied by 0 plus 3 multiplied by 0 minus 6, which is negative. Okay. This side will be 2x plus 3y minus 6 negative. And this side will be 2x plus 3y minus 6 positive. That way, we'll be able to get two sides. On this line, you take any point. Okay, On this line, if you take any point, that will satisfy this equation. 2x plus 3y minus 6 will be equal to 0. Because equation of a straight line means the relation between x and y. This line gives the relation between x and y. You take any point, the relation is this. If you multiply uh, the first one by 2 and the second one by 3, that will be 6 or minus 6, 0. If you go to this side, this is negative. If you go to that side, that is positive. So this simple concept, this is 11th or 12th class concept, that's going to help us now. How? See, it's so interesting and so easy. Now, what we'll do is, we'll apply this simple concept and we'll see how things work. So, let me erase all. This is my equation 2x plus 3y minus 6 is equal to 0. This is my equation. Equation of the line, you remember. Now, what I will do is, I will make a neural network, okay? One neuron. This is the second neuron. These are input neurons. Even we should not say ne neurons. These are the inputs. This is the perceptron neuron. I'm talking about this this neuron. This is the perceptron. When I say perceptron, remember the activation function is the heavy side function. So here, here you get the value with weights, and here you will get the answer. Okay. Now we'll have a tabular data. Let me write x and y my x and y this is my data if i write x and y suppose let me take a point here if i take a point uh, here 1 0 and let me take 1 1 here and 0 1 here these are the points i have taken to the to the below side of this line and I will take three points this side. I will take three points here. Suppose this is 3, 3. And uh, this is 4, 2. These are the two points I have taken. So I want a straight line. Or maybe I will take a point 5, 5 also. Somewhere here. So what I want is. I want a line which will separate the blue ones from the red ones. That is what I want to observe now here. Is that possible with a perceptron? Yes, 100% possible. And perceptron was the first computational model. Remember, first computational model for the neural networks. Also, I'll let you know why perceptron concept failed. Now, how it will classify? It's so interesting, you see. This is my equation 2x plus 3y minus 6 is equal to 0. So, simply, simply, you write 2 and 3 as your weights and whatever the constant that will be your bias minus 6. So, minus 6 will be your bias. Okay. So, these are my weights and biases. Then what will happen? Then my, my data will go through this. This will be my x and this will be my, uh, because I have taken x, y, I have to write x, y. Okay. And here I will get the value, whatever is z. Okay. So, z is a linear combination 2x plus 3y and then here if you see I have a minus 6 so my z will be 2x plus 3y minus 6 so I need to only know the right hand side of this is positive or negative okay sorry right hand side of this is left hand side of this that is z so now I have 
I have to determine whether Z is positive or not. It will depend on the data. So now let me write data, okay, one by one. So one zero, one zero, and then uh, one one zero one, and here three four, four two. If you are thinking it looks easy, you can also draw a line which can separate the blue points and the red points. Yes, that's true. But then remember. A computer can see, okay? A computer can see. We can see in our eyes, right? That is the difference. So let me erase all this now. I've written the data. These are no more required. Just remember as points. And these also will erase. So that there will be less destruction, okay? Now, what I will do is, in XY, I will put. So let me find Z for all combination. So if you put x, y here, 1, 0, in x you put 1, in y you put 0, what will happen? 2 multiplied by 1, 3 multiplied by 0, here also I have written, okay, if you want you can use this one, 2x plus 3y minus 6, this is my neural networks. So when I, when I say this is my neural network, my perceptron or neuron, whatever you say here, perceptron, my perceptron is only a linear classifier. Now here, I have already written 2x plus 3y minus 6. So you just put the values and you find z value, okay? So 2x plus 3y, if you find 2x plus 3y everywhere, 2x plus 3y, then I will subtract 6, okay? So 2 minus 6, that is minus 4. This is 2 plus 3, 5, that is minus 1. Then this is 0 and this is 3, 3 minus 6, minus 3. Then 3 plus 4, this is 3 multiplied by 2, that is 6, 4 multiplied by 3, 12. 18, 18 minus 6, 12. Here you see, 4 multiplied by 2, that is 8. 2 multiplied by 3, that is 6. 14 minus 6, 8. So these are the values I got. These are the values you are getting here. What are the value here? Remember, all the negatives will be mapped to, all the negatives will be mapped to 0. All the positives will be mapped to 1. That means what will happen? These numbers will be mapped to 0. And these numbers will be mapped to 0. And these numbers will be mapped to 1. So here you will get 0 or 1. So very simple function I can write f of g, that is my final value. Here I can write f of g, okay, another uh, column I can make here, that is f of g, that is equal to 0 when my value is less than 0. This is 1 when my value greater than or equal to 0. This is so simple, right? So now with a simple activation function like this, this is my activation function. I'm able to separate into zeros and one, sorry, this is one. So these are zero, this is one. That means these, see these three values, these three points, this point, this point, and this point, okay? So these three points will come here, 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 here. Then what will happen? The other three points, other three points, this point and this point, they will come here, this point and this point. There is another point also, 5, 5 I left. If I write 5, 5 also here, 25 minus 6, this is 19, okay? So, these three points, they are here. So, now we got a linear separator. Now, we got a line which separated blue and my red points. That was possible because all these points will be termed as one, that is zero class. So this is my zero class. These are my zero class. I can write zero class. Zero could be anything, okay? Someone will make a fraud or not. That is zero. Not making a fraud is one. Whatever you, you will term. These are termed as one class. So that way, they are separated. And what is the separation? Separation is this line. This line separated. This side, this side, if you see, they are negative and this side they are positive so this is very easy so that way we'll separate we'll be able to separate all the points now the intuition now you are from if you are from math background if i write 2x plus 3y minus 6 is equal to 0 okay if you know this that means you know that this point is uh, 2x divided by 6 that is 3 right 3 0 and this point is uh, this y axis point I can write here that will be 0 2. Okay, this will meet at 0 2. I can extend this one 
this will meet y axis at 0 2 so what will happen this will be my 0 2 point that means you know any points they are left to this line okay any point you take here they will be this side and any point you take here red points they will be this side okay so this is quite easy the neural network if i if i'll make the neural network it will be like this if i make the neural network it will be like this this is one this is one and this is one so it's very easy you can just take this one two here okay you join this way you write two here you join this you write three here and this is your bias it's so easy right and you get a value here this value this value is your z the only thing you need to see is whether this is positive or negative if this is positive then you assign one class if this is negative you assign zero class zero class are all the points there to the left of this line one class are all the points to the right of this line okay class is over for today i'll continue next time multi-layer perceptron